ओम नमो भगवते राम कृष्णाय फॉर सीकर्स ऑफ गॉड स्पिरिचुअल टॉक्स ऑफ महापुरुष स्वामी शिवानंद चैप्टर ट्वेंटी नाइन कंटिन्यूड बोथ हैप्पीनेस एंड सॉरो आर इम्पर्मनेंट गॉड एलोन इज परमनेंट इन हिम इज पीस होल्ड फास्ट टू हिम एपिसोड नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव पेज नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन Being consoled by Mahapurush Maharaj's blessings, Ganga Charan Babu, after exchanging a word or two with him, made ready to leave. One by one, the others saluted the Swami. Ganga Charan Babu's daughter saluted Mahapurush Maharaj and begged for his blessings. Mahapurush Maharaj said in a very tender voice, "May you live in peace, my daughter." May your husband son daughter relatives and all be happy happiness is so rare in this world compared with pains and sorrows there is very little happiness but those who are devoted to god know some peace in this world they are not disturbed by whatever pains or sorrows may come to them because they know that everything comes from god It is the same God who gives us happiness and again trials and difficulties. That is why they can patiently bear everything as a blessing from God. They are never elated by happiness nor are they upset by sorrow. Just as happiness is impermanent and short-lived, so is sorrow. It comes and goes, for nothing in this world is permanent. the one abiding reality and the only abode of peace is god hold fast to him my daughter then alone will you have peace in life one young and married girl saluted mahapurush maharaj who touched her head and remarked they are all manifestations of the divine mother all women are various expressions of the o mother Shortly before dusk a woman devotee saluted Mahapurush Maharaj and asked Maharaj how is your body Mahapurush Maharaj my daughter my body is not well old as it is how can it be in good health woman devotee Maharaj you eat so little Mahapurush Maharaj yes i eat just a little rice and soup at noon and a little milk at night more than that i cannot digest and besides i do not have the inclination to eat this or that eating is necessary for the sustenance of the body therefore i eat a little so that my body will last for some time and i can think about god i have no other desire except to think and meditate upon god if i see the lord in my heart i am happy This world is temporary parents brothers friends and companions are all temporary at death one will leave behind this world and it will remain as it is only the lord who is the soul of our soul exists at all times and will ever exist he alone is eternal uman devotee maharaj what will happen to us and crossed in maya we are so much attached to this world and cannot shake off this attachment we have so much sorrow and it we cannot rise above it mahapurush maharaj god alone is our goal take refuge in him he is our all in all the what our father and mother the what our friend and companion the what our knowledge and wealth the what our all in all o lord god is father mother brother friend companion and all call upon him earnestly he will certainly be gracious in this sorrowful world god alone is peace the master shri ramakrishna used to speak of the camel's habit of eating prickly grass the happiness of a worldly man is just like that of a camel without the grace of god my daughter nothing can be accomplished 
After remaining silent a while, Mahapurush Maharaj continued, It is not an easy thing to realize the unreality of the world. One cannot have that realization without the grace of God. Cry to Him and pray and you will have His grace. God is right inside. You will realize Him the moment He lifts the veil of ignorance. It is grace and grace alone that we need. There is no other way. End of chapter 29 Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Tatsat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu